Hey, 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 stay Steve. Please like and subscribe. Please click on the Deck Heroes icon. Click on subscribe. 100% free. Apart from mm, brackets, blood in, blood out. Joking. Anyway, just um, following up to that um, best commander video that I did recently. And look again, <laughs> RPG Risen, still number one. But that's that, that's not the surprise. <laughs> the surprise was... William the First, I believe he is called. Factoring anywhere in this top fifty, um, and that amazing skill that he's got about um, nullifying any skill, any buffs that increase skill damage. I was getting a bit confused in my brain. I think I was kind of, well, it can't just affect the active skill. Of course, it can. That is the skill damage, really. You know what I mean? So, and if, if I clicked on it. Anything that affects it boosts direct damage or additional damage or anything like that. So yeah, this is the max. That, if he was going up against William, the max he would get is one thousand five hundred, and there will be no buffs to that one thousand five hundred. Full stop. I think I was getting a bit confused. Not so much with Huan Yu because it literally says additional damage. <laughs> but yeah, basically Huan Yu's going to do two thousand damage. That's it. If it overlaps with the duration of William's skill, it's not like it's a 24-7 skill. It's if it overlaps and if, obviously, if William's not silenced, all of that stuff. Anyway, so the long story short is I've been experimenting with William myself. Actually, I probably shouldn't have jumped out of him as soon as I did. We can rectify that. Um, I've got him at 5-1-1-1. I don't actually, I do not actually plan to go beyond that. You know, so listen, whatever else I say in this video, 5111, I did not have to invest any additional gold heads to get that. I honestly can't remember having William at all, let alone getting him to 5111. And if you're going to do the same, then obviously what you need to do is click on skills, click on this little wheel and that little gear in the bottom right hand corner. Click next to upgrade on the right. And then you would limit it to one save. That's my recommendation. I would not go any further. Uh, I say, but just before I do the video I was going to do, <laughs> I do need to round off this William bit because it's all about including Wa uh, William. I was going to say William. William in my little team. Right, so the reason why, because this is, okay, we're going through his skills very, very, very quickly. Up to 20% cavalry attack, that's yawn. It'd be better if it was smite, it's not. March speed, you know, yawn, pointless. Um, damage bonus, 10%. Wow, 10 whole percent. Crap. Um, okay, again, so attack bonus of 20%. Yawn, additional direct damage of up to 800. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Uh, and it all depends on how many people. Okay, whenever the troop launches a basic attack, it has a 10% chance <laughs> to deal up to 800. And if surrounded, it takes even more damage. So I guess it's the 800 then plus this extra bonus bonus. It has to be. Because say if there's only two people surrounding, that's 2 times 40, that'll be 80. So it'll be 880 then if there's two people surrounding you with a 10% chance, which means a 90% chance that it won't. Long story short, no. <laughs> and the four skill, um, if it targets exactly one enemy, you get up to 20% defense. But even if you do nothing, um, you get the 10%. But if it's two or more, up to five nearby allied or friendly troops gain 50 rage per second. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I think this is the first time I've ever said it. Five, one, one, one. Absolutely fine for William. Absolutely fine. I think for most, if not all of the commanders, it's a, an illusion that you can get away with anything less than expertise in them. But let's not go into the expertise skill. So that's that. Long story short, I've, bring, I've brought it into my team. This is what I'm rolling with. Nevsky and William. William's actually replaced Joan of Arc Prime. 
that is mind blown and as you know William is five then three ones in terms of the skills and my Nevsky isn't maxed either I think it's five five three one or something like that or five five two one something like that so and I'm going to maximize Nevsky don't you worry about that everything else is maximized that's the team right very early days <laughs> so I'm holding 17th position at the moment, of course, I'm going to fall out of that as time goes on. Of course, I will. Um, anyway, let's see how I did. <laughs> the first one, this guy, two, two nine. You've got to remember as well, like my power with this formation is meant to be two six nine eight. It's not even, it's not even two point seven million. Two six nine eight, just short. This guy with two point nine million. That means he's got to be VIP eighteen got to be um yeah comfortable win that is well how much is that my math is awful as you know uh one three about one seven five hundred seventy five thousand troops remaining smashed him let's look at his team oh so he's using <laughs> nevsky memet that must be for the health boost oh he's using um cpo prime and Constantine, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, there's no one you. That's your listen. You need to watch my videos, man. Um. Okay. Anyway, ZL and YSG. Oh, this is all over the place. It's almost like um. I think it's VIP eighteen at that kind of power. It's almost like just I don't want to say I don't want to be unkind, but like a hotchpotch. He's got uh, Hwaoga Bing and Joan of Arc. Well, Joan would give him, obviously, every of effect and a bit of and a bit of health as well as other things. Oh, wow. Um, I can't remember this, guys. This, it's a hotspot. Okay, I've got the win. I don't know if I'm going to boast about it too much. Just move on. It's um, an interesting selection of um, commanders. It's almost like, you know, if somebody bought a... Um, say if somebody bought an account... And they've just recently started playing the game. I don't, I don't want to criticise them. I'm just trying to think it through why they have that selection of troops. And that level of power. Just, just Anyway, interesting. We'll take the win. Uh, this is my win against this guy on this occasion. He's got uh, Hauke Bing and Mehmet. Nevsky, Joan Prime. And my only, reason, the only reason I'm showing you this is so... I've moved from Joan Prime, as you know, to William the First. Not to be confused with William Wallace. And I'm just seeing about, like, in terms of outcomes, you know, whether that was a good move. Because I've only done this for the first time yesterday after my video. And after seeing what everybody else is doing in the top 15, just a few people, as you know. Anyway, so we've got Huan Yu and Constantine. Okay, that'll be the tank in the front, I'm assuming. And Scipio Prime and uh, Luce. I almost forgot his name there. I can't believe it. And I, I never understand why people do that combination. You've got a skill damage commander and you've got a smite damage commander. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, let's just imagine this. You got Huan Yu, Scipio Prime. I can't, I'm going to come out of this and go into the skills, but basically uh, the skills are kind of complement each other, especially if one of them, the target silenced. Okay. Um, and say if you had um, Luce and Constantine, basically gives him the tankiness and it gives him the health. Um, how's about that? Riddle me that. Uh, Pancho. I don't know what Pancho means. Anyway, let's move on. So we've got Zedel and um, YSG. I did get it with that 50% damage bonus, but um, interesting. Anyway, we've got the win. <laughs> we've got the win. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what was that one? Yes, here we go. Um, okay, so we've got... Yes. Nevsky Joan. Can't remember the name of this guy. 
uh, interest. I think he's a garrison commander. It's either a rally commander or garrison commander, if I remember correctly. And the other guy, the other cav guy, um, old, old. <laughs> it's almost like, and I, I don't want to generalise, I, I don't know for sure. It's like the dusting off. The, you know when you kind of like see these old films and if you see them anymore, where you, you know, somebody's retired, like a John Wick. John Wick 1, he just, no, I've retired. And you dust off the old kind of, you know, battle armour and you go back to back to war. It's almost like that. It's like a time warp type thing in some ways. To have that Cav Commander, maybe those command, Cav Commanders, these ones here, I forgot their name. Just Justin T, Justinian or something like that? I can't remember. Maybe, but maybe I've butchered that. Anyway, on the other side, on the other hand, <laughs> we've got Zedel and Herman Prime. It's a tiny image. We've got Boudica. That was a bad move. I don't. I just don't rate Boudica. And that's with YSG. <sighs> yeah, I think they just are uh, just slightly off the mark of Boudica. I don't want to go make it a Boudica video, but um, nah. And again, it's a uh, Saladin and um, what's her name again? You know, this one here. Oh, my legend. It'll come to me, hopefully. <laughs> but her. Um, again, yeah, just the old. Anyway, we've got the win. One, three, about one, about 140 odd thousand troops we had remaining. Um, <laughs> I'm just looking at the healing stats because they should never heal. But obviously, after battle, Ma Huan heals a portion of troops. 1,000, tiny, barely worth it. Um, and obviously with Constantine, you get massive healing on uh, Luce. So there you go. Anyway, that was Veta ranking. Then we got another win. Uh, and listen, the reason why they're going to be attacking me is because my power's at 2.6, as I said. <laughs> but this guy's just slightly higher at 2.7. That's a strong win on this one. I got um, 106. Uh, let's say 2. 15 so about 160,000 troops i got left over let's have a look at these troops um Quan Yu and Scipio that makes sense definitely in terms of meta in terms of RPG risen the number one guy um yeah Nevsky Joan Helga Bing the glass cannon and that old Cav commander if I keep on seeing that old Cav commander I'm gonna have to go into it and try and understand what people are trying to achieve I might do at the end of the video, and that's not a threat. <laughs> Just looking at the time, about nearly 13 minutes. Okay, then we've got um, Zedel, Herman Prime. I'll try and speed up. We've got William Wallace and Luce. That does make sense. Just looking at the kills for William Wallace and Luce. Many more kills with the Glass Cannon, Helga Bing, and the other unknown mystery Cav Commander. The most kills by far for him. Most kills for me. It's always going to be my Huan Yu just because. No, it wasn't. It was my ZL. So look at the wrong one. <laughs> I just think it. Look at the units from. Anyway, so it's going to be my uh, ZL 185,000. <laughs> but he does injure five troops at the same time and um, Huan Yu's at three. If I remember correctly. Um, yeah, Huan Yu wasn't that far behind now. 136,000. Then brilliant. My Luce did quite well with Constantine. And even though it was 1v1 most likely. Um, when Nevsky, William. It's, you know, 78,000. Not bad at all. Um, I'm not going to play these videos. Because can, can you imagine how long it would take but if you want me to do it next time you have to put it in the comments anyway Mr. Meow let's have a look he did much better uh, let's just say he got 74,000 troops remaining that's not a massive amount wow Scipio Prime and um, I'm saying wow because it's Charles Martel blast from the past Helga Bing and yeah, again, that mystery calf commander. Then on their side, I'm looking at the kills as well. By far, uh, Nevsky Jam Prime. Interesting that their ZL, considered how many infantry troops I've got, their ZL, Herman Prime, 
way down of 92,000 troops. That might be something to do with... I'm tempted to play, you know, that might be something to do with um, my William. Just nullifying that additional damage, just... You know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to play that video. <laughs> I just can't understand why ZL... You've just seen how my ZL was 180,000. And again, here, 180,000... No, that's uh, my Huan Yu this time. My ZL got 155,000 kills. Um, I just want to quickly see why that is. So it's uh, Mr. Meow. Let's have a quick replay. Okay. So his ZL is at the bottom somewhere. He can affect, he can, I'm looking at, talking about his. His troop can affect five armies, so why didn't it? My um, William is at the top with my uh, Nevsky. Way too far, way too far to touch that um, ZL, you think. So why didn't he do as much damage as what he could have done? Silence. I think I must have got lucky just my silence overlapping with him. And he just couldn't do what he needed to do. That's why you got to find you. It's got to be, hasn't it? There's no, I mean, it ain't just going to be um, Trajan. <laughs> um, and as always, my Huan Yu's like last man standing always. Always. Okay, we'll come out of that. Interesting. I just, I just wanted to understand. And there's Mr. Meow. That's the coolest name I've heard in a long while. So for a long, long video, it's meant to be a breakdown. Let's go for uh, K52A. Um, um, okay. Oh, man. That was a convince. I don't know how many troops I've got here. It just seems like a lot because I've got all five armies. I'll leave it at that. Let's look at his armies. Um, Huan Yu, Scipio Prime. Um, ZL and YSG again. Interesting. Luce and Halex is strongest by far. 120, sorry, 112,000 kills. Not by far, but you know, just the strongest. My strongest was ZL again with Scipio Prime. Scipio Prime? Herman Prime. <laughs> Herman Prime. Um, and Hauke Bing and that Cav Commander again. I think, you know what? The only way I can kind of understand it is... People, once they've done that investment, especially if they kind of diversify to invest in Valley Commanders, invest in gar Garrison Commanders, they kind of run out of gold heads. Then they kind of like resurrect or hold on to Commanders which are way past their sell-by date. Um, oh, no, is that William? That's William. I take it all back, <laughs> basically. I have to really look at the other ones. It's just so tiny. It's William. It's okay. It's okay. And I was recycling William well past his sell by date. Or is it? That's the whole point of this video is that is William still worth putting on the battlefield? And anyway, then we got um, Nevsky and Joan Prime. And that's 52M. I just want to have a quick look just to make sure I haven't got it wrong on these other ones. Now that's William with Hogabing and Dunbury. William again. Oh, I was getting, I was getting a bit confused. Um, yeah, that's William. I was thinking it was. Um, I'm gonna have to go and show you now who I thought it was, but I think it's a William, which these days does make sense. This guy, I thought it was. And they do look similar. Come on. They do look similar. Especially when it's teeny tiny. Um, That was 52M, wasn't it? Okay, I've got to show you that guy I was talking about. Because, you know, I've just done a blunder. The question is, do I have him unlocked? Okay, it's not William. I understand that William is here. Him, Zhang Yu, what is it about you? Okay, they lose 25% defense, it's area of effects. 
1,700. It's got to be that defensive reduction. It's going to go very quick. Attack, march speed. <laughs> and more march speed. Yawn. A damage bonus. Oh, that's if attacking a city or stronghold, so none of this is going to apply. Um, 10 less rage to use, up to 50. So let me check something. Rage requirement is 900. Um, while well, the troop is on the map, it takes a less 50, so it effectively comes 850, the trigger for the active skill, which is 1,700, and its area of, of effect, and it does that defense debuff, not a buff, but a debuff. Uh, okay, the, 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 when, whenever this commander's troop uses the Warlord's Courage skill for the next 10 seconds, cavalry units in the troop deal up to 5% more damage, but lose the march speed. This buff can stack up to six times, then its duration resets whenever another stack, whenever it gains another stack. Yeah, and when expertise, uh, this commander's troop deals 10% more skill damage. <laughs> Not if you're up against William. Whenever this commander's troop receives a buff that increases its rage recovery speed, it gains an extra 10% bonus to skill damage dealt. Okay, um, but, but it's that defense reduction, the small rage requirement of 900. It's um, this which effectively reduces it down to... 850 rage threshold um another bonus to skill damage nah it's, it's not awful it's not awful i can understand why people would have invested in him back in the day um as well as this guy <laughs> um i don't listen to, to give william context like, oh my gosh man am i gonna put him on the field that's what i'm thinking is Beyond Sunset Canyon, I'm going to put this guy on the field with 5 1 1 1. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I going to bench Joe and Klein for him? Seriously. In actual battles. I was contemplating it. Damn. Let's continue the video whilst I ponder. Oh, I've been defeated. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to finish. Somebody's actually had the audacity. How very dare they. I got to 52km very quickly. Looking at theirs. Uh, Luce, Alex, Hoka Bing and William. Uh, Nevsky and that commander I keep forgetting. Like original Cav commander. Wow. No, that's not a good move, my brother. Uh, Scipio Prime and Constantine. No, there's no Juan Yu. Wow. Um, wow. Uh, ZL and YSG. Okay, you got to say a mixture of the old and the new. This is another battle that I lost. But if you notice on my formation, I was rocking uh, Nevsky and John Prime, if you look in the bottom right. And I just had better results with William at the moment. But we'll, listen, I'm not, I'm not dead set on benching John Prime. I'm just saying the facts. Um, on their side... Yeah, Nevsky, Joan, Hagerbing, William. Wow, I lost two. Is that Gorgo? Gorgo Primary? Oh, and um, Luce. Wow, Luce Secondary. Okay. Um, that must be down to talent trees, definitely. Anyway, Juan Yu, Scipio, ZL, and... Heaven Prime. Anyway, we don't want to see that last one, do we? Uh, that's going to be Joan Prime again. We want to see how I lost this one. <laughs> okay. Um, no, he had a good win. That is like nearly 100,000 troops. Um, I'm guessing they had four armies against my Nevsky and just wiped him out. And then it was more or less five against four. They're five against my four. That's what I'm going to show it as well. Um, anyway, it's got... Gran and Constantine. That's interesting. That might be front row. Obviously, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the battle yet. 
um, Herman and Jim Prime. Okay, no William. Interesting. ZL and YSG. Interest. It might just you know sometimes you can get unlucky as well. You know what I mean? It's just the probabilities are in somebody else's favour. Who knows? We'll see. Um, Scipio and Luce. Wow. And uh, what's he called again? Chaugabing. Mehmet. Wow. MT Mew. So yeah, I beat him. Four armies and he just beat me back. Let's see how you did that. Replay. didn't it was just a straight battle that is very 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 interesting because now my nevsky with the william would nullify a lot of what haugabing was trying to do presumably might be this look of the jaw that his uh when you silenced me first um, and before, look at the draw that mine silenced him first, maybe. Okay, at the moment, he's very strong. I'm going to lose three members, and he's going to have a reasonable three strong. At the moment, I've only got two members. He's got four. This is a comfortable win for you, sir. Very comfortable. The end stats didn't make it look as comfortable as this. That was no problem. Yeah, that's a three hundred. Yeah, about hundred thousand. That is a comfortable win. Wow, 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 wow. MT Mew. Did I show this battle? Let's have a look. I've got to go out in the wind, don't I? <laughs> Even though, obviously, you know, you play tick, and it's like, well, like play uh, football as a kid. It's last goal, the winner. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to show this last. So even though you beat me, uh, it's last goal, the winner, because I'm showing this battle last. So you know what I mean? I, I technically won. Technically, I, I was going to try to do a, a Trump. I'll work on it before I will unleash it. Um, interesting. I'm wondering why my uh, Nevsky is so far down instead of level. It's almost like I've had, because his is quite tight. So why is mine at that angle? It's bizarre. I won anyway. I'm going to have to play it again one more time just so I can understand what happened with my Nevsky. Because um, then I might have a clue about why I won. Uh, but again, it's all probability driven. But um, and not it's not hard to work out as well. I changed the the talent tree on a video. You'll see either to, I think it's tomorrow it gets released. Um, and of course, of course, if the probabilities go in my favour, I'm only looking for Nevsky when he's starting position, and why he ended up where he was. So mine was tight. Now that's the one that I lost. <laughs> I got the wrong battle. Um. Here we go. Yes, that's the one, isn't it? No. This one, the one that I won. His was not tight. Makes sense, really. Because <laughs> I think mine was. So he brought his Hogabing tighter in and it made a big difference for him. We got him the win anyway. Questions answered. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found that useful. Please like, ooh, where am I? Where am I? Yeah. Should I do a battle to try and get back up there, avenge something? Maybe not battle him. Empty Mew. Oh man, I set myself the challenge. I've got to try it now, don't I? I was, I was hoping that it would be <laughs> something else. You know what I mean? He had a fair battle and he, and he won. We're going to try and challenge it. Okay, listen, I've set this. I've, set, I've put it out in the atmosphere, into the ether. There was somebody else at rank 21. If I get rank 21 or that guy again, I think he's rank 17. Then we're going to fake. 
There's that rank 21. We don't want him though, do we? We want rank 17. Oh! 12. Whew. We might not win. We're probably not going to win. We're going to waste 100 gems on a battle we should lose. We probably are going to lose. Oh, he's out there again. So his defensive formation separates everybody for reasons unknown, but his offensive formation is a bit different. Um, do I want to have the same battle or do I want to change it like that? Why would I change it? Um, I only just about won as well, didn't I? Let's go. I didn't change it mainly because I've, I've done some battle testing and um, moving Luce to that position, sometimes quite good and other times really not. But again, it's just obviously he's panning out the same way. So his Hauke Bing is tucked in. So he's benefit, benefiting from the area of effect kind of damage. Possibly I'm outside of the area of effect of his Huan Yu. Um, I think I'm going to win this again. I've got five armies. He's got four. Very soon to be three. Oh, I'm very soon to be two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm very unsure. Um... Very close. I've got a very healthy ZL. Yeah, I'm going to win. ZL for the win. Gosh. Ah, thanks. Ain't won yet. This ain't going to be no 60,000 win. It's going to be a very, very, very close. Hauke Bing's rage reduction thing gone but it's a single damage commander against area of effects i think i'm gonna edge it edged it wow Twenty thousand troops <sighs> yeah you need to tuck that uh how giving in my friend <laughs> that's it kind of end the video just a very 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 quick one though uh, i'm on the brink of new ground very soon we shall unleash the hammer of sun and moon. Please like, subscribe, Dennis Steve, and I'm out.